particular batch of uh, coil is 650 feet long. This is 12 millimeter. It's been coiled for four years. We're taking it to a job to open it just to prove a point that it has not taken a set being tied like this. Rock rebar doesn't take a set because it's fully cured epoxy at the time it's put on the roll. This is back before we put the, the better ties on it. It's been wired. This scared me a little bit, so I just put some more wire on it. It's very important that you never stand in front of it. If it ever did get loose, it would really hurt you. It does not want to be coiled. This stuff is going to want to come straight. We used to coil it in 16 millimeter, but when it came undone, it poked a hole in a, in a steel container, so we don't do that anymore. This weighs, I think, uh, about 80 pounds. Uh, check the weight on the, on the, on the chart for it. But there's 650 feet there. Come up. Well, my challenge that you couldn't load 650 feet of steel the way you're going to see me load this. This has been coiled now for four years. Um, I'm going to use it to finish off the job here and demonstrate that the material doesn't take a set. Let's see what this says it weight-wise. This one was uh, 64.80 kilo, kilos, so 130 pounds. I rolled it out here by myself. This is 12 millimeter rock rebar. Okay, you always stand in the middle when you cut it because it does not want to be coiled. I've got some C clamps I just drop over it just to keep it from getting away. Getting away. There's where it starts getting interesting. D. Um, you want me to grab the end and pull it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you really should put some gloves on. Is it set on the barbecue uh, here, grill? Here, take the end of this. Stuff is going to go straight. Basically, the clamps are just going to keep it from flipping up over the top. Theoretically. Hang on, D. Hang on, D. Alright. No, I got it now. Alright. I'm going to clamp it off. We're going to go on with our. Uh, well, I'll get one more, one more loop. Now, this is why you should wear jeans. I caught that on my shoe, but it would definitely scratch it. This is quartz, not sand. Quartz is the only understand the pressure. This is an existing dock. Rather than replace it in wood again, the stringers are still good underneath it. I decided to use this for the bottom form and pour four inches of concrete on it. 
since ultimately this wood's going to rot out from under the bottom. We're going to leave it hanging on the footer for this, this wall, which I'll show you in a second. We've exposed the seawall down below it. We're going to put some dowels in, in the seawall to, to tie it to the to slab. But we're only tying it in on top of, of the uh, T-piles. Then there's this dock has three batter piles, which were laid up at an angle prevent the seawall from being pushed out. We're tying them, tying those in. The guys are poking holes in the form on the outside to hold the rebar an inch up from the bottom, from where the bottom of the core will be. Uh, we want it on the bottom of the core since this is going to be hanging off the pilings and hanging off the wall. We want it so that when it sags, the rebar goes in tension. You don't have to worry about the fact that it's going to be exposed out before, because we don't have to worry about rust. This will never ever rust. This material is all two and a half times stronger than steel. Yeah, I gotta stop and drill these things out because they're the holes are not lined up properly. If that's a problem, here's a drill. Right? Notice how it where they're walking, it's coming right up. I'll use this part on the on the website to show how it comes up. Look at that, Carl. You put something there. It looks like that fish is chasing some bait. Another one sitting right just hanging right on the top there. See when I wiggle it, rotate it. I just slid this piece of sixteen millimeter number five right into the into the mix and didn't disturb it and it doesn't sink. You see it moving there. Video the underside of this. This is the old dock and where we put the forms on it. I'm down here to see how much it's sagging because they're putting 43,000 pounds of concrete on top of it. What do you notice about those fibers? Anything? Uh, they stay down better than the other ones. Hopefully that's the case. They're heavier and we put a agent on it to keep them from sticking together and make them disperse out into the into the mix better. So if it's working, you're the judge. Yeah, you can't really can't really notice them when you're trialing the surface. Usually okay. when you're hitting it, the other ones will be coming up on the surface. You'll see them. You don't really see them right now. Excellent. Any observations about the staples? The fiber? He's intense. Yeah, if I wouldn't have been here, I swear you ain't have none in here. I can't, I can't see it. Excellent. It's working for 40, 40 pounds in it in uh, 10 yards. Make note of it. I'm, it except constructive criticism, that's how we improve it. I've been working on it for eight years to get it what the stuff is now. Hard to make a new material that's better than what's out there and you can still make a living off of, you know?